Now we can finally reveal this renovated Queenslander in Paddington, Brisbane. We're about to catch up with the boys from Greyer Construction who specialise in high-end inner-city homes. And the home we're about to check out is no exception and takes full advantage of that amazing Brisbane view. Mate, this is fantastic. This is my favourite type of home, the old Queenslander that you've jacked up and you've given it some modern touches. Yeah, that's it. So it's, it took a bit of work. It's, um, it's been restored, so it's looking a lot better than it did back in its former days. Mate, well, the facade is amazing. I'm excited to see you inside. Should we go take a look? Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, wow, how nice is that brick on the floor? Yeah, it's a bit different. We tried to sort of continue the theme of brick from the front all through the house. So, as you'll see, there's a lot of brick being used. And, um, yeah, we love it. It's a great feature. Well, you never see it on the floor, really. And it's durable, so why wouldn't you use it? Yeah, yeah, it's a bit unique. So, we sort of mixed it up and tried it on the floor. And, yeah, everyone loves it. Fantastic. Well, Andrew, we've been following you guys online and, to be honest, I'd expect nothing less, mate. This place is spectacular. Thanks, mate. We really wanted to, like, make the most of the views, so when I purchased it, I knew it had a lot of potential and now we've raised the house. You can see the views, how amazing it is, so you sort of see that as soon as you walk in and everyone comments on it, so I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And to the house aside, you guys have got a lot going on. You've got your YouTube channel, you've got a huge social media following. Tell us a little bit about Greya. Well, we try to sort of um, not just build houses for people. We've sort of created a brand. We do a lot of our own marketing, a lot of our own filming. So there's a lot to do and we've sort of grown that over the past five years. So a lot of people come to us and approach us, not just for our build, but they want the whole package. So, so far that's worked and yeah, we just hope to keep growing in the future. By just looking at this build, it looks challenging. You know, it's a sloping block. You had to deal with the original house. How was the build? Yeah, to be honest, this is probably the most challenging build we've done to date because not only was it a sloping site, it was very tight with the boundaries. Um, we had to restore the original cottage as well. So you'll see when we go up to the master bedroom, that's the original cottage. Um, we also hit a lot of rock when we we're trying to do the excavation. So all in all, it was a challenging site. But to get the views and to get the product at the end, sometimes you have to take on those challenges and I'm glad we did. I absolutely love the aesthetic in here. It's probably what I would choose if I was building my house. What was your design brief to yourself? Well, I sort of, I wanted to design something and then style it so it'd be timeless. So we went for a lot of sort of neutral colour tones. Um, we didn't want anything that's going to stand out and then in a year's time it's not on trend and people hate it. So I've gone for this sort of look and I think if you come back in five years time it won't necessarily look dated, it should still look on trend. So hopefully I've achieved that, but um, time will tell. Mate, and you've got a lot of uh, one-offs in here. You've got that amazing brick floor as you walk in and this kitchen bench. Have a go at it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a few sort of unique little parts about this house. Um, the chimney goes up all three levels. Um, this island bench is obviously pretty impressive. Everyone comments on that. And then um, the powder room as well, you'll see it's very unique. So there is a few sort of different little quirks about the house. I love your use of brick in here. You don't see it a lot where people use brick inside. Why brick? Yeah, you'll see we sort of continued that theme from the front entry all the way through the house. We've used the brick as floor tiles, as feature walls, as the chimney. And we just, um, we just love brick. We think it works well in the climate up here. It's durable, obviously. It'll last a long time. It always stands the test of time. So we think it's sort of a timeless material that we can just use. And I think not only that is, I think once brick goes in, it's finished. There's no painting. You know, you might seal it, for example, but it's finished and it's a texture that's not a plain wall. Yeah, that's it. Like, it looks good. I think a lot of people sort of had a stigma about brick from maybe the 80s when it didn't look that good, but now there's so many options, different styles and cuts and textures. You can pick anything that suits you. And um, those bricks, I think these are going to look amazing in time to come. So, yeah, we're more than happy with that decision. And I think for the viewers at home, the key to using brick inside, I think, is getting a good brickie. 
Yeah, that's it, 100%. You need a good bricky. Something that you might not know for our brick tiles here, we actually use the tiler, not the bricky. Oh, right. So it's not actually a solid brick. What we did, we got the tilers to get the bricks and then slice them. So it's just basically the top of the brick laid. That way we sort of saved because we didn't use as many bricks. Mate, I'm going to be honest, I am absolutely going to steal that. I'm going to steal <laughs> that idea and I'm going to do it at my base. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <laughs> And how does Greyer work? Do you guys do all your own designing in-house or do you get architects on board? So that's the one thing we don't do is the design. So we always outsource that. And for this house, we use Tim Stewart Architects. He's a pretty well-known architect in Brisbane. We think he did a great job. We love what he's done. And um, I, yeah, hopefully everyone else does as well. Well, he's absolutely nailed the open plan living and taking in all those views. But have a go at this cabinet. It runs the whole length of the living area. Yeah, you can't complain about storage in here. So. <laughs> Yeah, that was one thing we wanted to have all our sort of living and entertainment on the one level. So you can see when you walk in, it all opens up. You've got the view, the bifolds open up, you've got the kitchen, lots of storage. So as soon as people walk in, they're drawn to like this area. Well, mate, I'm super keen to see what you've done with the cottage upstairs. Should we go take a look? Yeah, let's check it out. Right. How cool is that door? Yeah, well, it's actually original? the um, yeah, it's the original front door. So that's one of the only things we restored from its original state. So I love it. So this whole level is the original footprint of the cottage? Yeah, that's it. So as you can see, it would have been a relatively small house, but um, this is the original cottage, which we lifted up and then gutted, restored. And then this is basically on this level is just our master bedroom, ensuite and walk-in. When I lived in it before it was renovated, it was very small, I can admit to that, and it wasn't <laughs> that comfortable. So now we're enjoying what we've got in here. So the house is split over essentially like three main levels. We've got the, the master bedroom ensuite up on this level at the top. Uh, on the middle level, we have all our living areas, the kitchen, your big balcony overlooking the pool. And then down on the bottom level, we've got three more bedrooms, another bathroom, your second living, and then an outdoor area. And Andrew, what every good Queensland home needs is an awesome outdoor entertaining area, and that's what you got here. That's it. This is one of my favourite spots in the house. Like, you've got the views, plenty of space, and then you've got our three-storey chimney, which um, obviously we've used the same brick we've used throughout the house. Can't wait to light that up. Well, mate, the place is absolutely spectacular, so thanks for showing us through, and uh, I look forward to seeing what you've got coming up. Cheers, sounds good. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you found some inspiration looking through these incredible homes and gardens. We certainly have. For the recipe from tonight and more on the homes, check out our Instagram and Facebook. See you next time for more Open Homes.